Today is December the 22nd of 2020, and that means there's only 10 days left till 2021, and that means we are on to day three of our countdown to the new year, and uh, we've got a really, really interesting one this time that's, I, it's a bit shrouded in mystery. There's a lot about this whiskey I don't know, but there's one thing we can, we can very much say, and that is, it's an official bottling single cask Abelauer. Yeah, you don't see these very often, do you? Um, yeah, really not much information available on this one. It was reserved for Winston Management. Who Winston Management are, I have no idea. I tried to find out. All I got was, you know, about half a dozen or so companies called Winston around the world, ranging from, I think there was a, a mining company in New Zealand and I think there's maybe an estate somewhere. There's, uh, there's a winery, I think, called Winston. Um, yeah, I have no idea which Winston or, or why. Um, and the only the the only mention of this whiskey's existence on the internet is from the Malt Maniacs, uh, of which, of course, our own uh, our own Victoria whiskey legend Lawrence Graham is a member of. And uh, yeah, I don't know I don't know much about this whiskey, um, but it's a really unique and cool one. I'm I'm, I'm glad to have it in my collection, um, and I'm glad to be sharing it amongst friends this year. Because of course, that is the theme of these twelve grams. It's not whiskey till it's shared. This is. Bottle number 80 out of 360, but they were individually numbered. Um, in interestingly, for a single cask whiskey, however, this was bottled up 43%, um, which is odd. Um, although, you know, it was bottled long before the big cask strength movement um, really took, for, took a foothold in the industry. Um, it was distilled in 1989, it says here, and also, also says that on the, the neck tag up here, which is as yet unbroken, but that's about to change. Actually, the next text says, this bottle of Avalar single malt distilled in 1989 is one of a limited number from a reserved hogshead. So we know it's a hogshead cask. Um, and we don't know, really, when it was bottled. We know when it was distilled, but no idea when it was bottled. It could have been any time, really. However, I think one clue is in the fact that on the other side of the tag here, it says Millennium. So I think there's a fairly strong chance that this was actually bottled in the year 2000 to celebrate the millennium, uh, which would make it an 11-year-old single cask Abelauer. But of course, it's also from 1989, so it makes it pretty, pretty extra special. This is a bit of a, a, bit of a unicorn whiskey that uh, I've been looking for an excuse to open, and we have found it. As with the first whiskey in this, uh, in, <laughs> in this 12 dram extravaganza, it's an old one, which means the cork might break as I open it, but let's let's find out if Abelauer's corks are a little better than uh, than uh, Eddie Ratro's corks. Nope. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. All right, three whiskeys, two broken corks. Um, we're uh, we're on a <laughs> we're on a roll. Let's see how this Abelauer shapes up. Hopefully some of our uh, members have already left a bit of a review and some tasting notes in the comments below, um, including myself. But uh, my initial uh, my initial reaction, ever so slightly sulfury on the nose. And I know for a lot of people, the S word is a huge, you know, turn off for want of a better phrase. Um, I like a little, a little touch. I think it can really enhance a whiskey. I think it's, I think it makes it interesting. Um, too much, I mean, more than just a little bit is too much, to be honest. It's a very overpowering flavor, but when, when used correctly, I think uh, I think it works well. And there's a lot of distilleries that actually aim for a sulfur note in their whiskey. I don't think Abelauer tends to be one of them. Um, but yeah, not unpleasant. Not blowing me away by any means. Um, this is one of those whiskeys that is, I kind of got because it was interesting, not because I thought it was gonna be amazing. Herbal, a little, little herbal on the nose. Ooh. That is remarkably easy drinking. I mean, it makes sense at 43, but that is, I don't, I don't like using this word, but that is smooth. It is. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really, that's really quite good, actually. Better than I kind of expected it to be. Um, well done, Avalar, you, uh, you surprised me. Hmm. 
well, please uh, add your own uh, notes and uh, ask any questions uh, you want in the comments below, and uh, I will see you tomorrow at the same time in the same place for number four in the series. Slanchevere.